This video will give you a brief walkthrough on how to predict the products of non-ribosomal peptide synthetase. We begin by opening up the genomic sequence for the non-ribosomal peptide synthetases. These sequences can be located on websites such as GenBank. The links to the websites mentioned in this video are in the description box below. In this instance, we're going to use a non-ribosomal peptide synthetase called mostocytopeptide. As you can see, there is a lot of information, but we don't have to think about that too much at the moment. A piece of free software called Artemis will allow us to easily locate the non-ribosomal peptide synthetases in a visual format. We download and open up the file in Artemis, bearing in mind the file must be in the faster sequence format. This format is available on the GenBank website. You can now see the genome of nostocyclopeptide. Artemis allows the user to annotate regions of the genome depending on specific criteria and features, such as the length of base pairs. As you may already know, non-ribosomal peptide synthetases are very large molecules with over 200 base pairs. Therefore, it should be quite simple to predict a possible non-ribosomal peptide synthetase. As you can see, certain features have already been highlighted as possible non-ribosomal peptide synthetases. We shall use this highlighted region and predict its products, but first it must be confirmed, using BLAST, that this is actually a non-ribosomal peptide synthetase before proceeding. BLAST, or Basic Local Alignment Search Tool, compares regions in the entered sequence to a large database of known sequences to see if there are any matches. We click on this region and we can see that it begins at base pair 8496 and ends at base pair 19703. So we can go back into GenBank and locate this region on the sequence. Once we have found the region, we can click on Protein ID and this opens up another page which is specific to the region highlighted on Artemis. BLAST also requires a faster sequence, so we copy and paste this sequence into BLAST. Bear in mind we must use Protein BLAST because this sequence contains amino acids. After blasting the sequence, we come to a page that looks like this. We are given a lot of information, but we shall focus on the visual results. We can see that BLAST has found the exact components from the highlighted region in Artemis, shown next to specific hits. As we know, non-ribosomal peptide synthetases contain condensation domains, and there is one present here. They also contain adenylation domains, as seen here. These domains are repeated throughout the graphical representation. Therefore, we can confirm that this is a non-ribosomal peptide synthetase. However, to increase the confidence that this is a non-ribosomal peptide synthetase, we can use another website called Maryland. Maryland analyzes faster sequences and compares them to a known database of domains to see if any share functional similarity. So we paste the faster sequence of the region into Maryland to see if we retrieve any hits. This graphical representation shows a basic structure of what this region looks like. And as we can see, the domains that were present in the BLAST results are also present here. Therefore, we can confirm with great accuracy that this sequence is a non-ribosomal peptide synthetase. As we know, adenylation domains decide what amino acids bind to the non-ribosomal peptide synthetase. Maryland has predicted three adenylation domains, as well as their order in the synthetase, and also the molecules that will bind to them. The predicted binding molecules can then be placed together to give a very good prediction of what the final product will be. Thank you for watching the video, and remember, the links to the websites are in the description box below.